All right, so we're going to close out with some things, talking about some things that helped us get through those hard times, those challenges. Um, so we, we explain, and this is just the first year, we explain some of the trials and tribulations we went through on the first year of being together. First year of courting, combined with marriage, and uh, how do we maintain and navigate? Want to start off? No, let's just start. Well, as I said previously, uh, we became real close. Uh, and that didn't negate us still bumping heads and getting into it because we're human. You know, she was raised how she was raised. I was raised how I was raised. We have two different DNAs, two different sets of parents, uh, raised in two different cultures, uh, two upbringing, two different upbringings, two different understandings. She's male on ma she's female on male. <laughs> so we're gonna have conflict, and how do you navigate through that? In the midst of drama, and sometimes trauma, uh, got to talk, got to stay connected, got to talk, uh, become each other, become each other's best friends, um, spend a lot of time with each other, but also know when to fall back, know when to give each other space, uh, especially me. You know, I need my space sometimes. I don't know if you need your space as much as I need my space. Or do you? I do. As much as I do? Maybe not as much. Oh, okay. But my my need for space may be um, an hour or a couple hours uh -huh. just alone okay. thinking or meditating. Okay. And then I may be good, but then you may need your space that day. All day. All day. All weekend. Or the next day. You're right. Right. So. Right. So you got to take that in consideration. You got to know your partner. You know, and um, it's crazy. It's ironic that we were looking over, just brushing over uh, this book, uh, The Five Love Languages. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's so important, and I think that all plays a part. And you got to consider your, your spouse's love language. It may be, if there, there's five, this book sticks five. Your spouse may have more than one uh, that, that may need attention. Then you have to consider uh, their upbringing, their experiences, and how they see the world. Because uh, everyone's not the same. Everyone didn't have the same experiences or the same upbringing. And this might sound weird, but you you got to consider the zodiac sign. I believe that. Oh, me too. I believe in. Mm -hmm. I believe in that. So, you know, I'm a Cancer. Right on the border of Gemini. She's a Leo. Would you say you're on the border of Cancer, or no. you're a strong Leo? Yes. You think I'm a strong cancer or a mix? Mix. With? Straight down the middle or more so? I see both. I, I would say more majority um, cancer, okay. but I see some Gemini. Okay. All right. So I believe you got to take all that in consideration. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the zodiac sign, the upbringing, the experiences. You know, how, how each other sees the world, the love sign. And I take all that into consideration, you know. And uh, that doesn't necessarily stay the same. Um, we talked about that. True. Your love sign was different four or five years ago. Mm-hmm. But it's changed. I think mine remained the same. Yeah. 
loyalty and um, devotion. Devotion. Yeah. Uh, I forgot what the the verbiage they use, but mm-hmm. basically it was devotion. You know, that's that's the most important thing to me. Uh, I think you have about three. I had two. I think you had three. One was gifts. Gifts. Touch. Uh, attention. And touch. Right. A- affirmation. R- affirmation. R- with right. Words. And then touch. Right. Right. So it used to be touch years ago. And not touch anymore. Not not as not as uh, major as it was then. Okay. All right. So, yeah, you got you got to take all that in consideration. Uh, you know, especially if if kids are involved, uh, a, a woman's body chemistry changes uh, with kids. And I don't know. If, I wouldn't say a man's body chemistry changes after having kids, but I think his mentality, his focus, changes. A lot of times, uh, as men, we worry more mm-hmm. after kids. So, in closing, to get over some of these struggles, you know, there's no blueprint, but talk, communication, communication, communication. Lean on one another. Block out outside influences if they bring, Amen. yeah. If, if if they bring no positivity, block that out. Surround yourself with positive people, and uh, stay focused. Uh, talk, write down goals and uh, aspirations. Have daily meetings, weekly meetings, if if need be, and uh, you know work that thing out through communication and uh, listening. That's the most important thing. Listening. And you can get through anything. So, that's it. That's our first year. That's the beginning. That's how we met. And that's how we got through it. That first year, we still, we're still still going through things and uh, uh, still winning, still having challenges. So, yeah, reach out to us. Yaya and Stacy at gmail.com. Hit that like button. Subscribe. We will respond. Follow us. Tell a friend. We'll be back with more jewels. Take care. Take care.